Hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with Aston Villa reporter Matt Mayer. Matt, Aston Villa 4, Wolverhampton Wanderers 1. I don't think anyone quite saw that coming. No. No, I didn't. <laughs> um, I think that's, that's that's more than fair to say. I certainly thought Villa had a chance today, as mm -hmm. we said yesterday. I thought they would give Wolves a, a good game, certainly a better game than they did at Modern New in, back in October. Yeah. Did I see them pulling out that performance mm -hmm. and, 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 and really blowing Wolves away mm -hmm. in the manner they did in the second half? No. Um, it was terrific from Villa. Um, really, you know, their their best performance of a season, which which has contained quite a few good performances over the mm -hmm. last few months. Um, you know, they were from the word go, they got at Wolves, which is what they didn't do at Molyneux. But even so, I mean, I thought it was a great first half. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in a, a great contest. You've still felt Wolves carried a threat. They obviously, you know, got back on level terms yeah. through Diogo Potter and. You just, I just had a feeling at half time where you'd have said to me, there's going to be a team that takes this by the scruff of the neck and goes and, win, goes and, goes and wins it. Yeah. You'd have thought, you'd have, I thought it would be Wolves yes. because of what they've done mm -hmm. uh, this season. But, but Villa, you know. Well, with, what happened? With, what, happened? Know, what did well, Bruce say? It's it at half time. Unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, I think they, you know, they, 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 they certainly got tighter on, on Caballero and Doherty down mm -hmm. the, the right wing, which was a real issue for them in the first half. Um, and really, that you know, they, 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 it's five goal, sorry, two goals in five minutes has decided mm. this game. Great delivery from from Robert Snodgrass. You know, you know, you just can't defend no. free kicks like that. And, and James Chester's you know mm -hmm. got on the end of it, and then a great you know another superb cross, fantastic finish yeah. from, from Lewis Grabben. It was turn, turning out to be you know an inspired sign. In I mm. mean, four four goals in four games mm. and. And, at a time uh, when they need it most. At a time when they when they need it most, you know, and and, and how refreshing because how many times mm. over the years have we seen Villa make these signings and and you know particularly you know for you know the, the second half of the season and they just never take off and yeah. and, and, and really he's someone who's coming and, and hit the ground running mm. and and you know he's you know I think you know he, he, he got his place in the team over Scott Hogan today that mm -hmm. was a decision Steve Bruce had to make more than justified it mm. with it you know justify that with his performance he was exceptional four different goal scorers and like you said the delivery was was superb and the difference between the two sides i thought and and you know people are going to score goals when, when you've got snodgrass and people knocking balls in like that yep yeah, yep yeah. and they've, they've scored goal you know four you know five goals in um, more than one occasion mm. this season now um you know there's, there's goals in this villa team we didn't have that last season and that's been one of criticism of, of, of steve bruce you know over his management career that his teams don't mm -hmm. score a lot of goals well this villa team you know and they're good they're good to watch yeah, you know, it's it, the upside is mm. is huge, and, and and the reactions at the end. Mm. I mean, the point we have to make is Cardiff have won again. Yes, you know, Villa have won ten of the last twelve games, <laughs> yeah. and they are still four points. Wow, you know, behind mm. Cardiff, they mm. just cannot get close mm. to them. Um, but if that if this doesn't give them the confidence to go on and claim automatic sure. promotion, then then you wonder what will. Yeah. There's been some emotional wins for Villa in the mm -hmm. last two months. She Sheffield United with mm -hmm. Robert Snodgrass's last minute winner. Birmingham City here. Sheffield Wednesday when they really didn't play well but just refused to be beaten, mm -hmm. fall back and bullied their way to a win. But I mean this surpasses all. With, with all the build, all yeah, exactly. the everything, you know. Mm -hmm. And it was a feisty game. You mm -hmm. need eight bookings there, five for Wolves, mm -hmm. three for Villa. You know, it, it just had a bit of everything. It was a yeah. fantastic game in the first mm -hmm. half, fantastic contest. In the second half, Villa just Villa just took it away from Wolves and in a manner which I don't think, well, you watch Wolves a lot more than me. No, I'm no. a man of the few of the teams have done this season. Uh, very, teams. very few. And yeah. I think I think Wolves are a bit shell-shocked after that game. Yeah. A lot well, of talk no, about... <laughs> yeah, sorry, go on. So a lot of talk about Ruben Neves, you know, before the end coming into and being a huge asset. But I thought Jack Grealish, I was trying to be, thought he was yeah, superb. Yeah, Grealish, Grealish was excellent today. And, and really, you know, that was the question. He'd been out injured for a month. Could he come back and show the, show the form that he had before us? I mean, I said to you yesterday mm. that he was up there, you know, Neves is, is, a, is a class act. Mm. You know, some of the passing mm. today, I know, you know, the, the team lost, but, you know, he's, he just oozes class. Yeah. I mean, he's a Champions League player mm -hmm. playing in the Championship. Mm. Grealish, his performances have been have been up there yeah. for me, you know, since he's come back from injury. Back in the team today after a month out with a mm -hmm. calf problem, could, mm -hmm. he, could he get up to speed? And, and he was up to speed straight mm -hmm. away. I thought Snodgrass, probably just for me, pipped him for... From out of the match, yeah. I thought it was brilliant, brilliant throughout. But just the whole team performance, mm -hmm. and they won it so much now. Mm -hmm. Villa, it's a real team. You know, the first half of the season, it felt like they were very much a work in progress, and they were getting by because they've got very good individual players who can win a game. Sure. Now they've got a really good team, you know, and they are they are motoring. From Wolves's, you know, I know this is a Villa video. Mm -hmm. but from Wolves's position mm -hmm. now, suddenly their lead is down three points mm -hmm. over Cardiff. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I'm not sure it's Cardiff they've got to worry about, mm. it, uh, ju or just Cardiff. No, you're right. Because yeah. Villa and Fulham are yeah. absolutely flying. Mm. Villa have won 10 out of 12, mm. Mm. Fulham have won 11 out of 14. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Wolves have, aren't going to be able to limp over the line sure. here because they, they're going to have to. They're going to have and, to win and, at least four, and Villa, four you know, games. And I, I say that from the perspective that I think Villa, Villa now will think, you know, we could, you know, yeah. Wolves aren't out of reach. Absolutely, um, absolutely. You know, well, the I, fans I, are saying that as well. It'd be very tough. Mm. Be very tough. But but you know, suddenly there's that element where you know we could actually mm. close that. I mean, the important thing is there's another game on Tuesday now. Yeah. When you know, covering this league, there mm -hmm. is no time of to course. sit back and enjoy this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're back in They've tomorrow. Got to win, They've yeah. got to go straight to QPR. Steve Bruce has said in his post-match interview there he feels Tuesday night will be a tougher game than tonight. Mm. This was. Incredible atmosphere. Yeah, you can get, get up for this game, Kai. Yeah. It's a huge game. This was a huge game, emotional game. QPR, mm. a team that everyone is going to expect you to just roll over. Yes. It's never that simple. No, so we've got turned big, over QPR. Big, yeah, and another big game on you know on Tuesday now. Another big week, mm. but but you know, Villa have just got to you know, the, the, you just feel with the wins they've recorded, the manner of the wins they've recorded that you know they are, you know, I, I'd still do fancy them to go and. Go and, go and get an automatic promotion place but it's you know it's it's set up beautifully now for the uh, for, for the rest of the season and, and suddenly wolves are perhaps are yeah. perhaps back in play mm -hmm. which you know they Absolutely, weren't yeah. they weren't only a few weeks ago it was one place perhaps now you know it, it's two but i mean this was this was you know terrific terrific tonight you know good to see um you know there's so much on the line for villa over these next few weeks could define the next decade you know they need to get promoted mm -hmm. we've said that but you know, there's a real buzz about this place for the first time in you know, kind of seven or eight years, and so uh, long may it continue. Huge three points for Aston Villa. It's Aston Villa four, Wolverhampton Wanderers one. For all the post-match reaction, make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.